Hi there, this is Eli with Fortress Security Store, and this is our SO2 GSM motion detector. And this is called a PIR motion detector, passive infrared. So it's, de it's triggered when it detects a heat signature. And we'll go over placement, best places to put that. For now, let's go over the dimensions here. Um, it's it's 2.17 by 4 inches, pretty much, 4, 4.02. Um, and let's go dim in, inside the box here. Of course, you get your motion detector, some a packet of screws, and mounting hardware. Um, mounting hardware, this is the piece in my left hand here. Um, this gets screwed to the wall. And this piece here, uh, I'll show you here briefly, will snap into the back of the motion detector right here. And then it pops, once this is mounted on the wall, will pop on right here. Um, and that enables you to pivot it around while it's mounted on the wall to get the best angle for you. Take that off for now. I'm going to turn it on. Power switch is right here on the side. And you'll notice an LED, a red LED light comes on. It might be hard to see in the video, um, but once you get one in your hands, you'll see LED here. And then the timer uh, is every 15 seconds. If you wave your hand in front of here, you see nothing's happening. Um, Got to wait for the timer to count down. Now, if you notice that the red light doesn't come on at all, it's most likely that the battery has gone dead. Um, and there is a, a way to tell on these. This face will turn sort of a yellow amber color letting you know that the battery is getting low and let's go over how to change that next you'll need a screwdriver Phillips tip and let's unscrew this here open it up put that side away uh, inside you get a 9 volt battery you can get those on our website pretty much any store near you it has 9 volt batteries so finding those is not a problem let's get this focused here and I'll show you um, the best way to um, change uh, the LED LEDs can be turned on or off there's a jumper here um, they're little black pieces that that connect the pins together so um, Pins 1 and 2, for instance, on the LED jumpers, have them on. Pins 2 and 3, turn them off. And then over here, these pins will change the timer settings. So you can change it from 5 seconds to 60 seconds or 5 minutes. Um, up to you what you want to do on there. If you set it to 5 minutes, that just means that once it's triggered once, it'll be 5 minutes before it'll trigger again. Um, and that'll really save battery when you have these, especially when you're walking around at home during the day or evening. It'll be triggering every five seconds. So um, if you if you want to save a little bit of battery life, feel free to set it to 60 seconds or five minutes. Um, up to you with that. Battery comes out like this. Um, now you'll notice there's no antenna on the on the outside. Some of our older versions did have that. Uh, but now the in, the, the uh, antenna is actually, you, it doesn't really look like an antenna, but it's actually built into the circuit board right here on the side. And range for this is 250 feet unobstructed from the main panel. Uh, so in your house, it um, you know could be closer to 150 feet instead. Now, I did mention before, this is called passive infrared. So any heat signature will set this off. Um, I bring that up because of where you mount this, um, a lot of people will mount them pointing out windows, thinking that they'll catch somebody before they come inside the house. Um, and, you know, not a bad idea, except for the fact that if any animal flies by, a bird, uh, anything like that, yeah, if you have a street outside your house, somebody walking by on the street, a car driving by, all of those things will trigger this. So avoid pointing it at um, heat sources as well, like heating vents or stoves. Uh, things like that can trigger it. And uh, this has been the SO2 GSM motion detector.